Derelict is in a poor state of disrepair or stood unused. Compulsory purchase, it is or has to be shown that it's in a public interest to purchase the property and the person involved, property owner, person living in that property's human rights have to be taken into account. Bear that in mind, ex-Royal Marine working for Serco, approaching private landlords. Three, four and five year deals. This has been going on for a good while now. So here's the deal. We would like to rent your property. Rent paid directly to you. We will put a new bathroom and kitchen in free gratis. Three, four or five year deals. All utility bills are paid. Council tax paid. After the three, four or five years, we will refurb your property. That's the house illegals. 1.2 million people now on council housing association waiting list. Can't get properties. People can't get on the property ladder. The home office sending letters out. Council sending letters out. Properties that are stood appear unused. Compulsory purchase dereliction orders to be put on properties. There's an old couple, they got a such letter, not being in a property long. These are homeowners, these. Homeowners, not private. They got a letter. Your property's derelict. We're gonna be compulsory purchasing it for illegals. That's right, you see, our unelected prime minister has famously announced he's gonna get rid of the hotels, you know, put in Illegals, people with no background history, no documentation. We've been putting in three, four and five star hotels. We're going to stop using hotels. Home office has bought 14,000 properties. Homes. We're going to put illegals in it. So what are we going to do now? Because here's the problem you see. As fast as you empty a hotel, people are arriving. It seems to me these, these two systems here, there's the people who work, try and get properties, try and get on the property ladder, private renting's going through the roof and it's very limited. And then these people who come, who've not contributed, no background checks, straight into homes. I lived in two housing association properties whilst in Manchester, one in Manchester, one in Salford. The first one I moved into was for working people. Background checks, references for both me, the missus and the daughter. We went to see the property, lovely quiet estate in the day. We got on the property, offered the property, Manchester properties through the roof. I couldn't afford private renting. You can't afford childcare, one of you working, you goosed. I think it was £93 a week, we jumped at it. Nice little three bedroomed gaff, downstairs toilet, little garden, beautiful. We were in one day. Hell on earth, that property. The estate, the estate, sorry. A third bought houses, so you imagine, 140 to 200 grand, two three bedroom properties. You've bought one of them on a new estate. Might not even have seen that estate completed before you've purchased. The other third were bought by Irwell Valley, who I was with. They were putting working people in them properties. I don't see that as a problem, me, on the whole. The other third was Northern Counties and other housing association. They put in their problem families. At night, it descended into a hellhole. Fights, assaults, fires, my car got trashed twice, nothing to do with me. Tires slashed, windows put through. It was fucking horrendous. Cars turning up in the middle at night, knocking doors in, running into houses with baseball bats and the like that are full of kids. Houses with kids in them. Hell on earth. You imagine you were a private owner on there. You'd bought that house, you'd got a mortgage. You got a feel for them people. The second property in Little Hulton, City West, Little Hulton, 
Gets a lot of bad press. I loved it there. Our neighbours were salt of the earth. You know, it is quite a poor area. Queen, it is Caster's uh, quite a poor area. Again, neighbours were salt of the earth. To get that property, we actually had to take our daughter. We turned up with references, two lots of ID, ID from a daughter, references from work, character references, and after the first visit, we were asked to produce our daughter in order for us to get on the list and get a property. None of this if you're an illegal. It's a, another system, two tier system. What are we gonna do? Yeah, more and more boats come in. If we're not gonna put them in hotels, are we gonna put them directly in homes that the home office are buying? So again, it's about what's right and proper, is it not? For me, this is wrong. Um, I don't know what we can do about it. You know, all these people now saving for deposits on houses, trying to get social housing, less and less rentable properties, properties being aggressively taken over by Serco and the like, all in the name of housing illegals. We must be the laughing stock. Bet they can't get here fast enough. General election this year, anyone thinks it's gonna get any better under Labour, it might even get worse. So what do you do? Just gonna leave it there, guys. Summer's coming. Hopefully we have a good one. Thanks for your continued support. Main man there, our Stephen. Thanks to people who become members of the channel. Guess past, present and future. And the 1.2 million people living in hope. You know, a chance at getting your own property. There's nothing finer, is there? To be moving into your own gaff. A lot of people work hard to get their houses. Like I say, the place I lived, the northern counties, the problem families, the private houses just turned the homes into castles, as it were. Big walls, big fences, lock you and bolt your doors at night. Nightmare, absolute nightmare. Thanks for coming. I'll see you.